How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. I went to my primary care physician was diagnosed with uh, stage four melanoma. Hold your fists up like this. My cancer continued to spread and I did a colonoscopy and they found a blockage in my colon which turned out to be a tumor. She was um, diagnosed with melanoma and it had spread by the time I had met her, so she had metastatic disease. It just is really frightening when they tell you you have cancer. You, know, you go through a range of emotions. Real deep breaths through your mouth, in and out. I couldn't afford the treatments and, and things. It still costs a lot and I'm still paying, you know, a lot for the treatments, but uh, without doctor's care and the hospitals participating to do the chemo and things, I, I, I probably wouldn't be here. Hi, I'm Karen Macbeth, and I'm a doctor's care patient. And did you want morning or afternoon? Doctor's care provides access to affordable health care to low-income uninsured patients. I did daycare and I just plain couldn't afford it. And we do that by engaging 850 physicians from our community and five hospitals. We also have a primary care clinic here within our building, provide services directly to patients age zero to 30. We include um, integrated care through mental health services and twice a year we have dental services. There's multiple physicians, multiple pharmacies, multiple hospitals that are involved and we have to coordinate through them. Lab companies, um who are usually affiliated with the hospital systems as well as um, pharmacies and everybody creates kind of a volunteer neighborhood to help the patient um, access not just the services of, of seeing the doctor but also any prescribed um, therapies or any additional um, diagnostics tests that we need to do. The Doctors Care Network brings all of that together so that the patient doesn't have further fractioning of their health care. Knowing that you have continuity of care I think is, is very important. We're really creating a neighborhood um, where the patient can feel very, very much cared for. We have a readiness to be here for our community. By participating in, in the Doctors Care Volunteer Network, I, I really do have much more of a, a, um, a definite sense of, of purpose and fulfillment in my professional life. I just saw her about a week ago and her scan was completely clear. And thankfully she has done very well. She's been on several different medications um, from oral chemotherapy drugs to IV chemotherapy drugs and um, is currently disease free. So she's in complete remission and doing great. Excellent. From stage four to remission is just a miracle. And I feel great. I feel great. I think it's a great organization, and I think a lot of these patients would not have any care if they did not have or were not part of doctor's care. You never know when it's going to happen to you or to those you love. Uh, it might have already happened um, to somebody in your family or close friends where you fall in hard times or you have um, a situation that comes out of nowhere, and all of a sudden you don't have that safety net. Thank you, and that's not enough, and I truly mean that. Thank you for participating. I'm sorry. Thank you for giving me the chance to live longer. Thank you for all you do.